Testing, 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 audio testing. I turn around and let's see. A journey right there, baby. It's awesome. One owner. Check it out. Hello, this is Sachin Shaw with RVMax.us in Greenville, South Carolina. Today, I'm going to show you a beautiful one owner 2007 model Winnebago Journey Model 39P, as in Papa. Check it out. Beautiful skim color. I mean, it's almost 9 p.m. in Greenville, South Carolina. Sunlight is still out there. It's just a beautiful full paint with very minimal flaws. The guy we got it from, one owner. We like to see a lot of one owner motorhomes, but it's hard to find in today's market. So uh, grab it while you can. 3M film is okay, it's got a few flaws. Our body shop guy's behind, he could probably remove that for about a 1200 bucks, or you could do it at home with a steam and a razor blade, a plastic razor blade, you can remove that. Uh, so little flaws there, it's not paint. Again, it's just a 3M film, okay? It needs to be removed. Windshields are free from any any uh, star crack, uh, maybe one right here. I see very small, it's hard to see, it's right there. Uh, passenger windshield looks pretty pretty good, uh, free from any flaw. That little star crack, you get it for free. Uh, not a big deal. Look at these chrome mirrors, they look really nice. Uh, Toyo tires, brand new. We just put them on. I mean, uh, I guess about two weeks ago, six new Toyo tires. Um, well, I can't say plenty of trade is brand new. Probably got 10 miles on them. No D lamb, straight body. It's got uh, three slide outs. We're getting a pop slide out open. Let me just go through our compartment doors real quick. Lots of storage. I'm going to leave them open. And by the way, this. Uh, Compartment door opens up along when it comes out with a slide out. See the struts, they're in good shape, they stay up. Uh, typical wet bay, you got a water filter. Uh, Winnebago does a really good job on if you wanted to winterize it yourself. Outside shower, sewer connects, and all that stuff. Over here, we should have some, let's see. Lights auto level, you can level from out here. How about that? That's, that's fantastic. A 50 amp power codes. You got a big, uh, what do you call, automatic transfer switch if you ever need to. Air conditioned, what do you call the, not the, but it's a, the radiator for air conditioning. Uh, back here, I think I've got it locked right here, but Honeycomb looks in really good shape. It's a Freightliner chassis. By the way, it's got a chassis cutoff switch right here. We should have 10,000 pound towing capacity back here, indeed. So nice. Uh, what about tailpipe? Uh, it did say 10,500 pound on, on the thing. Tailpipe got a little, eh, it's just a orange. You can buy those with the change from and. It's got a little crack on it. Uh, let's see, fiberglass, one-piece fiberglass roof, uh, 350 horsepower C7 Caterpillar motor. It is a cat. I don't think it's coming, this cat. So, uh, beautiful skin, electric awnings for the patio. By the way, those folks know Winnebago's, the one owner he kept in really good shape. The basement air condition was acting up. 
So if you open up, it's got a couple of keyholes. It's got a compartment. Guess what? He took it to Winnebago factory and had it retrofitted with the two roof air conditioners. So that's a good news. The basement air conditioner work really well, but when they have a problem, it's hard to find parts. So it's already been retrofitted or upgraded, whatever you would use a word. It, it, it's uh, words you would use. It's, it's, it's a good thing. It's a positive thing. Got a roof air. I think he put new batteries there. They look okay. We'll check them out. 10 gallon water heater. Everything works so far. And that's why we just got it and put a new tires and just got it washed. It's a really nice motor home. Let's show them quickly all this. See, water pump is located right here next to the LP tank. Easy, easy peasy if you ever have a problem to change them. Unlike some other motor homes that we have seen in our business. I think these are some kind of a, some kind of a, either window shades or something like that. Let's see what they are. Yep, these are, you know, shades you put them on a windshield and stuff like that. A little LP tank extension. Let's see. Now, those balls, you know what they are? Good question. Let me show you what they are. What people do when they store a motor home, they take this windshield here. Let me demonstrate what happens. They lift them up so your windshield wipers would last longer instead of, so they just kind of take pressure off of them. That's what I presume. That's what they use them for. They just take the pressure off of them windshield wiper blades. They're, they seem like a very soft and good shape. They get... So, uh, let's open the slide out. It has extra vinyl in there, too. Yes. Oh, you'll love the vinyl tile they put on. It's like a... Nice. Uh, got an extra box in here. And we'll show you inside what it looks like. Let's open the slide out. Now we've got the slide out open. Awnings are out. Let's quickly... I don't think we need to walk around through it, but I, I forgot something. It's got a side view cameras, a really good feature to have that. So we've got generator running here. Uh, by the way, I'll include, uh, I'll go through the paperwork and stuff inside. This guy was fanatic about taking it to a Winnebago every year or every two years. He got it serviced, lived in us, mm, Southern Illinois. Yeah, but took it to Iowa all the time. Let's go inside this motor. It's in really, really great shape. Got Winnebago floor mats here, right under the solid steps. You go ahead and walk in first. So the previous owner has already done, uh, we're taking our shoes off. Put those uh, vinyl tiles, were done professionally. We usually put hardwood first, but hey, these are great. All right, we'll come back on cockpit, show you everything in the front, but check this thing out. There's electric bed, so just goes up and uh, so you can leave it a certain position and, and then this thing comes in and out so you could actually bring in and out or it could be a nice recliner I'll just put it back in the leather ultra leather is in super nice condition locks in place same thing goes for here by the way I love these little cup holders they're everywhere in the coach I've seen some Winnebago, you had to kind of give a lift, but this motor is super strong. It just came up. Sometimes you got to help it a little bit. Goes down. There we go. So nice couch. Look at all this day and night shades. They're, they're being upgraded. Not those notorious, the string kind. So, really nice day-night shades, window treatments in great shape. By the way, this is an odor-free coach. No pad odors, or importantly, it's not a smoke odor. It's very clean, one-owner motorhome. This becomes bed, a little bug. Get out of here, light's coming in. But this thing falls down and becomes bed. You also have a lots of storage under here. Check this out. And on that side, we have a two seat belts. There should be two seat belts back there. So this would sleep like two or one here, two there, two in the back. 
Five to six, easy. Yep, there are some seat belts back here as well. How about that? Six seat belts. Over here, you could put a, take this office chair and this nice little, it's a drawers out and put a nice sofa that opens in a bed. You could add that, but uh, that's how people got it. By the way, got all original window stickers. It was about $210,000. All the, some of the receipts. We got a owner's manuals, all that good stuff uh, right here. Um, so one of the ceiling panel is coming down just a little bit, okay? I can put some tin thumbtack. I call my upholstery guy right now. You know, parts are hard to come by. He can't guarantee if he can match another color like that. About 400 bucks to put this up. This is not due to any water leak. It's just a Winnebago had those issues, you know, a glue gives out. But the rest of the panels are good. It's just a one little panel. Okay, I want to mention that. Not a big, not a big deal. Unless you're not looking for it, you won't even see it. Upholstery is in really good shape. No sign of any abuse. Just in really good shape. Uh, what color would you call these, boo? The, the light oak? I don't know. It's got a little, little Alcantara or suede leather kind of a material here. Just really good shape. Let's see, over here, kitchen. We'll come into the kitchen area. We have a nice, sharp, this looks like a newer one. Uh, yep, it was probably chained later on. It's not a 2007. Any rate, nice convection oven. We've got a three burner gas stove. Very, very clean. You know, I've seen some coaches, this Corian countertops would be scratched up and stuff. This, this is very gently used generally used. Look at this. Dual ceramic sinks. Pull out shower. Oh. The faucet head. Got a nice little island that comes out. If you would call it island. More storage for pantries everywhere. Deep drawers. Drawers under the stove. And you got little extra counter space. I love counter space if you like to cook and stuff. And this is a fantastic upgrade. No more LP refrigerator. Let's see. I can open this up. We've got a twin cooling Samsung refrigerator with a freezer on the bottom. That is a definitely great upgrade. They cool very fast and guess what? They won't burn up like those LPs. <laughs> they catch on fire, some of them, not all, if you don't do recall and stuff. This is a definitely nice upgrade. Okay, Santa part of the coach. Man, another drawers, and we've got more storage everywhere. Winnebago does a really good job. Let's see, what's under here? Oh, they have a resettable 12 volt fuse. That's another great thing Winnebago does. Something don't work, it pops out, just push them back in. We have a little separating door. Super nice. Water heater, 110 or, that's your 110. Hey, happy hour, come on in and happy hour. Nice stand up shower. You know, I always like to stand and kind of tell Tall folks, you can fit in here, no problem. Over here to this side, you have a nice, I mean, really large size lavatory. Lots of counter space, Madison cabinet. Some more cabinet back here. Fantastic fan up on top. Towel rack, I like that. Over here we have some closets and drawers. So the tiling stops here. There's somebody did a wonderful job and we left this carpet alone because it's nice. It, it, it's very clean. Nice, uh, what is this, boo -boo? God, I, I forget. Uh, Chester drawer, huh? What, what else is it called? Vanity, Chester drawer, nice mirror, uh, Toshiba TV. Uh, I love this, look at this. 
They have upgraded those from a string kind. I hate those string kind. They're notorious. That's a big bay window. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to leave it open. Over here, some, oh, more keys. Wow, whole bunch of keys with a remote. So we've got lots of lots of keys. We have one set. Now, the couple, they've ordered it, and they didn't put a washer dryer. It shouldn't be prepped for. You may have to cut a hole out for a vented, if, unless you put a ventless. So you could put a washer dryer here. My wife Liz just put this brand new, what is this, boo? seven piece? Did it come from Bed Bath Beyond? That's a nice linen, and you get it. We just don't show it off and tease you. It'll go with it. So it's a nice uh, comforter set. You see, there's a four or five inches on that, maybe two, three inches. Some, sometime I mentioned you could put a, uh, what they call that, not a California, they call it Olympian, huh? Olympic queen. Olympic queen, and it's like 66 inches wide instead of a 60 inch. But uh, plenty of room there. Let's see. Over here. Let me check this thing out on back. Yes, check it out. It's plumb for it, for washer dryer. You just gotta cut a hole for a vented washer dryer the combo. The light turns on and off when you open it. Yep, it's got a, it's got a, it's got this. Okay. Yeah, Winnebago does. I love Winnebago coaches. So over here, let's see what's in here. Oh, nice little shoe. Comp hey, what you get that? Oh, let's check that out. Oh, just. Big storage. storage. Put some linen, whatever. Under my foot. Man, we're just going through some. Let's see what's there. More storage. More storage. We still got a little TV. I mean, what do you call it? 12 volt hookup. I think they got this Presser Pro. Oh, yeah, he's got, he does have a, what do you call the Presser, tire pressure monitor. All right. So back windows, oh, we still got reading lights too here. We didn't turn them on. Here we go, boom. More the better, more light. Oh, this is, he told me he just replaced this. So, yep, it's a sleep number bed. How about that? That is a sleep number bed. So that's a really good, let's see what's under the bed. We should have some storage. Yep, indeed, some storage. And the bed stayed up on its own. Its own. That's uh, the struts are in really good shape. That's, that's. I think he told me two thousand or twenty twenty two hundred dollar mattress. He just put that on. That is nice. There's a remote control. That's probably remote for the TV. All right. Let's see uh, what else we're missing interior wise. That's your slide out button here. Oh, something important. I got to give you privacy door. That's it. I'll tell you what, we may put drive video, we may not. Uh, it drives excellent. Our driver drove it. We'll put new Toyo tires. It drives really good. We may throw in a bonus test drive video, but let me go ahead and show you the cockpit area. Speaking of a test drive. Uh, this both seats would swivel around. Uh, there is a button for this. Let's see, passenger seat. This thing got to come up. I don't know how. Okay, that's swivel. I'll never figure that out. I'll get, oh, there it is. Bingo. Man. There you go. So, whoever is on a, see if I can get it straight here, on a co-pilot. God, I got to get my seat back. I got too long of legs. But I figured that out. It works here. All right. Let's see. Uh, it does have a remote for the awning outside, by the way. Vizio updated TV. Uh, I don't know if I could find any channels or not. Anyway, it works. It does have a surround sound, RCA. You got to put your own, it's got a wind guard satellite dish up on top. Some H HDMI cables you got to. All right, so let's talk about the driver seat. It's got a, it's got a little lever here. You can go telescopic and tilt wheel. Okay, uh, I love Winnebago slide outs. They are running with a HWH, not electric motor, so they they're very reliable. So there is your pressure pro meter, and it tells you all your uh, pressure or tire pressures and stuff. Okay, 
Uh, that's aftermarket gizmo. It goes with it. You got side, uh, side uh, cameras. We'll crank it up. There we go. It's got uh, 88,666 miles, auto idle. It's got a color backup monitor with the side view cameras. A uh, nice little uh, Pioneer radio here. Uh, we have uh, power mirrors. And they work. Yep. Sun visor. It's got electric sun visors. Sun, sun visors. They work. Let's see. Yep. It sure does. By the way, it has a door lock, unlock from here. Also on the step, well, when you come in, it has a door, compartment door lock and unlock. That's a really nice feature. Also, the remote control, you can also lock and unlock your door and a compartment door. That's a really nice feature, and we found a bunch of keys. Uh, we have a six-speed Allison automatic transmission. We have a mirror heat. We've got a HWH totally automatic computerized leveling system. We have an exhaust brake for the motorhome and got a nice air horn. See if you can hear in the video. I love horn. All right, what else I could add, boo boo? We do take trades. We help you to get finance. Uh, we do sell warranty. We never push for it. What else? Phone number 864 404 0054. 864 404 0054. Our son, mine, 864-376-5600. We prefer tax communication. Give us a call, subscribe to our channel, and uh, don't wait too long. This modem will not last. It's a one owner, extremely well kept. There are stickers here. They had, he been, he's been servicing it religiously. Um, that's it. Thank you. Have a great day.